Good morning, it is 7 a.m. I actually woke up early. I am going to work, and I don't know if you can see this, but my front windshield is completely frozen, and I couldn't even get it off with the scraper with a squeegee. So, um, <laughs> I'm just letting, letting the heater do its thing right now. Um, but let's see, I think, I think maybe... Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, yep, this is the situation. And I guess it was blue f below freezing last night, so um, which would make sense why it was cold on light. So yeah, um, I'm gonna head to work. Hopefully, I'll actually get there on time today because it's only 7:11 right now. So um, then uh, we'll get started on our work. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is around 7:45 a.m. I am miraculously at work, 15 minutes before I'm supposed to be. I want to keep this going if I can. Um, I don't actually know why I woke up uh, so early. I, I went to bed around midnight, so... I think it was just really, really effing cold. Um, I think it went below freezing last night, so... There's that. Anyway, my plan for today is to get all of the things that I needed to get done yesterday at work done because I kept getting interrupted. After that, I think I'm going to go on a hike. I, I do have a big meeting at 9.30. After um, around 11.30 or so, I'm going to go on my hike. Uh, I'm not as sore as I thought I was going to be, so that's good news. And I don't have a whole lot planned for tonight other than playing sitar and plotting. So that's all there is, really. I'm pretty back to normal, as it were, and going to keep my momentum going. So. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. Hopefully this is going to be this is going to be our year. So let's go. So, I finally printed the calendar for our novel. Um so we're going to do this is going to become really really handy um in the scene by scene outline that we're going to do this month. And we're almost 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 done with the plot. Um the skeleton. So, um well, I call it the skeleton, but it's actually the skeleton. But um, we're we're almost done with that. Almost done with the climax. Just gotta tie in a few more things together, and then we'll be ready for our scene by scene outline. Which then you know we'll fill this um, entire thing up with uh, um, with the events. I think our novel is gonna be from about March to the end of May. Um, I'm not really sure about that completely, but yeah. Anyway, this is a lot of fun, so yeah. I love the irony of being late to a meeting because I don't actually have a link to it, so yay. I don't I don't know who's hosting it, the person who's hosting it I don't think has um, the link up for everybody, or it's not a recurring event or something, but oh, man, technology. And apparently I'm not the only one though. I keep getting emails from other people that like, hey, can you send us a link? Can you send us a link? Like, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it either. So we'll see how, what, what, what happens. So yay. Good morning. The time is 11 o'clock. Just finished with my meeting, which was a, not a complete waste of my time, but you know, just you know, people talking for an hour and a half was a little bit, and then it took us forever to get started, as I, as I mentioned. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to go talk to um, HR about some stuff, and manufacturing about other things, and then after that, I think I'm going to go on my walk. Um, I'm not very hungry, so. I think I'll eat after my walk. I also forgot my gym clothes, so I'm wondering if I should go on the trail today at all or no. Um, it's not a particularly difficult trail or anything, I just don't like sweating. But it's 56 degrees outside, so, um, at the high. So I don't actually think I'll be sweating all that much, or if I am, I'd be shivering, so. 
I don't know yet what I'm gonna do, but yeah. Um, my thighs are feeling better, my calves are feeling better. Um, keep drinking water, which was bad for the meeting because the meeting were in for like an hour and a half and now I really gotta go to the bathroom, so <laughs> I keep doing this to myself. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go talk to Sherry, talk to manufacturing, get our shipments out and all of that. So, yep, I will catch you guys up in a bit. Hello, hello, the time is two o'clock. Just off, got off the phone with my mother. Um, I don't know, feeling a little bit anxious, so um, I still have not gotten a lot of work done. I've been fighting my computer and uh, all of that, but um, anyway, just just wanted to kind of touch base over here. Um, there's nothing big or anything, whatever, going on, just, you know, feeling a little melancholy, that's all. Um, it is what it is. I hope it is better. I was feeling a lot better after my walk. Um, I mean, not that I was feeling bad, but today today has been a good day, um, at work anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna try to get back to work and hopefully, you know, not be weighed down by all of my thoughts. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, another thing I forgot to mention was, uh, Jeff has been sick, my, my manager, and I asked him how he was because he came in today and I said, oh, are you doing better? And he's like, no, no, I'm going home. I, I just came in because there was an emergency. And I said, okay, like, I, I hope you're better. And he said, uh, he, he said, is a Darth Vader bottle, water bottle yours? And I said, yeah, what about it? And he's like, oh, no, no, I just saw it. And it's so cool. And I was like, you know, this is... This is why I love working here, so, um, anyway, I thought I'd share that story, <laughs> uh, it made me feel better, so, anyway, I am gonna go get some work done, and touch, uh, bases with you guys later. I thought, hey, let's have a conversation while I work, why not, right? So. I think this conversation that I want to be having right now um, is about conflict, and I have never, I have never understood people who want to have conflict. Um, it is never a necessity for me. I actually try to avoid it as much as possible, um, and try to go around conflict. And I don't even mean that, you know, conflict is going to happen regardless. But you know. Um, I think it's it's the non it's the violent nature of it that I I especially want to avoid because I don't think that's ever going to achieve anything just like I think like I was saying yesterday that I don't think negative emotions achieve anything um, or a negative attitude rather achieve anything I also think that the violent nature of conflict does not achieve anything either in in a conversation so I. I'm very wary about it in general, um, and I I don't I don't like that at all. Um, it's it it never is. I can't talk to people who want to have a uh, violent kind of conflict, you know, um, yelling at each other, talking to each other in a rude manner, and all that stuff, and. And I understand that some cultures, um, my, my, my own included, they talk like that. And I think I have a right to be critical of it. That just because it's, it's part of the culture is, does not mean that it is, it is right, you know? And I think I, I tend to want to uh, leave and get out and kind of flee <laughs> whenever any kind of... Um, violent conflict takes place. Um, now, of course, it's okay. conflict is healthy in general, like, the a actual nature of conflict is, is fine, because, you know, we all disagree on something, we all have our own goals and all of that, so it's fine to, to disagree, and conflict is okay and it's healthy, but as soon as that becomes uh, an argument or 
or uh, yelling at each other or some sort of fight. I, I think that has lost its uh, chance of becoming an actual productive thing rather than a, an unbecoming, you know, something that y you will regret. Um, and it becomes, it becomes a poison, I think. So, anyway, I just need to get off that off of my chest. It was something that I was thinking about while I was working, so I thought, hey, I should share that. So, yeah, let me, uh, let me know what you think. Maybe comment below or something, and um, let me know what you think about that. Um, so I can see what other people think, and I'm just not living up here, so... I, d I don't I don't mind if you disagree with me. I would just like to have it in a in a um, humane manner. That's all. So let me know. Good afternoon. It is four thirty. I am done with work for the day. I don't know what what is happening, but anyway, um, I'm done for work for the day, and I'm gonna go home early. Sort of. I'm going to my parents' house bring uh, my mom's Tupperware back um, and that's about it um, I might stay and see my dad I don't know yet so I don't know I might do that so um, I was thinking about taking Friday off but I don't know it anymore because I am really behind on work and I really really need to get it done so I don't know yet and that's about it I also decided not to edit my videos because it's going to take such a long time to do it and I am no expert at it so anyway um, my other vlog is up um, I just uploaded it I think um, either that or it's like almost done so I'm going to try to do closed captioning for that tonight and uh, post it online. So, yeah, that's that's what's up in my life. Um, tonight is plotting night. I'm really looking forward to it. It is also sitar night. I have to practice sitar. And I also think I'm going to do some um, ITB. Or, um, actually not ITV, uh, body weight training. So, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, that's my update. Um, let's go home. Real quick, I just decided to open my hair because I haven't actually, um, opened it since last night when I took a shower. And it just, it's so bouncy and, and curly and stuff. But yeah, it's still actually damp, so... Um, I decided to finally let it breathe a little bit. Um, anyway. I don't know if you can see this, but it definitely says tumble dry low with tennis balls. Tennis balls. I don't understand. <laughs> Who puts tennis balls in the dryer? <laughs>